Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Australian episode of Pure Couscous to, to, Together. Ladies and gentlemen, hello! Episode number one with Candidate. 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 What is up, bro? How you doing, man? Good, brother. How you doing? I'm doing all right, man. Say to the people, what's your name? What's your real name? Oh, my name's James. What's your candidate? Name? But you can call me Candy as well. Candidate, too big for you. You can call me Candy. You can call me Date. It's fine with me. And you can't date him, though. At the moment. How are you doing, <laughs> Candy? How's it going? How do you think about the studios here? You were watching the show while I was still in Greece and you were here in Australia. Oh, what yeah. do you think about the new studio of Season Australia? I love it, man. I love it. And I love uh, the new studio because. It's upgraded from the last one we've been recorded to. And then yeah. Let's start with the fucking basics. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Uh, 17. Share with us what made you start rapping in the first place. Um, I could say the biggest influence that uh, made me start listening to rap was my older sister, seven, eight years old. She would put me to listen to Greek rap music. And then from then I started even writing at like eight. Nine years old. Oh, you start writing lyrics and shit and rap ten years ago, pretty much close. Ten years ago. Well, is there like anything that you would wish to say to the Greek rappers out there that they're gonna watch this episode? Any like advice to give them about like start rapping in English, put subtitles in the episode? No, 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 no. Everybody, everybody can do his thing. Do what you like to do. Do what you like to do. Yeah, you wanna rap in Greek, rap in Greek. Nah, if that's your thing. Pure couscous without chocolate goose, it's not pure couscous. Yeah. Fuck me, damn, that's strange. Fucking hell. What were your influences like? Yeah. And I've been influenced by like a lot of artists, so. And you like. Yeah, I mean, when you listen to so much rap music, you're like eventually gonna want to rap yourself. What, uh, what you, would you like to say to artists? out there who haven't recorded something yet or like you know you start recording recently so you had the first time studio experience pretty much so what's your advice towards these people I, I started recording i started looking for a studio and stuff when i felt i was ready to record but like don't make anything like keeps you back all the time you're like i know people that are actually good at rap don't make anything keeps you back if you want to record, record. Like, if that's Same what you want to do. Work and and you, should be, you should be focused on your dream. Like, you should decide. You should talk to yourself. Like, yeah. do you want to do this? Or uh, kind of. Like, do you actually love what you're doing? Like, do you do you want to <laughs> taste the dream? Are, are you with it? Or maybe? You know, if you maybe, nah, man, just fuck it. Do something else. Yeah. What's your opinion about the music industry of hip hop and rap community here in Australia? So when I came here, um, it was hard for me to listen to local stuff, like I couldn't find it. But then when I actually like searched and searched and like found some actually good uh, Australian rap, because it's actually good rap as well, what I found, they told me if you're a rapper too, they come to you. you know? And that's what happened, like I made people that heard my music and they're like, oh, I rap too. I'm like, oh, no, see. And Any collaborations in the picture? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What are your dreams and ambitions for the future? I see it as step by step, taking step by step. Small dreams, small goals. What are your you reach short some... term goals? Uh, for me, this year was have a live show eventually. I, I want to have a live show. We're actually doing that. Whoever is in Melbourne at that time, when I come by. Laundry bar. Yep, Android. that's right. What would you say about like the Greek music industry in the general? Like, what do you think about that? Uh, rap in Greece has been for longer. It has been for Australia, hip hop culture. Yeah. It has to be longer. It's been more of a movement there than it is here. But, uh, and it's a lot evolved in Greece as well than some other countries. But you see now in Australia, you see art artists rising up lately. Mm. A lot. What do you think about like Australian hip hop as the acknowledgement to the people? Like, do you believe that? Australian hip hop exists enough to become well known worldwide. Yeah, like I told you, there's some good artists that are like going big now, rising up. 
But yeah, obviously, yeah, anybody can make it. What do you prefer? There are two options, not two options. What do you prefer in the long future to be like? You, you would prefer to do shit just to become famous or do your thing as you started and continue being like that without giving a okay, shit. Okay, yeah, you see now. If you like to be well known or not. Uh, you gotta, you gotta focus at, in your ideas, on your ideas, like, cause you, you have your best ideas, like, the ideas you have in your head that nobody thought of, and you, you might think it's crazy. If you say it to somebody, they might think it's crazy. Might actually be the best idea ever. So you gotta listen to yourself first and uh, do your thing. But no, it's uh, originality is like overrated. Don't copy somebody's wave don't jump for the wave like just um <laughs> Anouk is here mm -hmm. we have a wonderful bow tie uh, so you pretty much like, I love this it's beautiful so you pretty much are like uh, do your shit whatever that might be do the thing that you love pretty much in your rap in your rap in your hip hop or whatever stay the same get more experience and like add elements into your shit and continue being the same person you were when you started pretty much huh nah nah don't stay the same nah you gotta keep upgrading don't stay the same don't be the same person nah, you that's were what when i you said rapping. upgrade but exactly. stay the same add things to upgrade yourself as long as it's yours don't copy anybody yeah, Just don't copy. Be original, whatever that might be. Even if you want to change the way you rap or your lyrics or whatever, or you, even your music production. Would you change Australia? No, no. Why would no? Change Australia lifestyle? No. Last but not least, uh, what candidate does behind the cameras? You guys see this? That's a mic. <laughs> I've been here recording all the time <laughs> with this guy. Yeah, in the studio, and I wanna be more and more in the studio. Record songs, get stuff out, make video clips, do live shows, eventually travel all over the world. <laughs> what I could be. That's cool, that's really good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the first episode of Pure Couscous Season Australia comes to an end. Candidate was with us yep. today. Next and Nuke was here as well. And Nuke was here as the co host Never forget the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time, stay true, stay pure. Love and kisses from Australia. More to come. That's it. And Nuke was bye to bye. say bye oh. too. She's about to leave. <laughs> She's out, bitches. See ya. See ya. Coming soon. You better be here. You know the name.